All right, today we are going to be reading Earth. My first 4.54 billion years. This book, Earth, is written by Earth while you float through space on, you guessed it, Earth. In reality, it was written by Stacy McEn McEnulty, McEnulty and illustrated by David Litchfield. Um, however, it is written in the perspective of Earth. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or the third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. We have Mercury, Earth, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto down here. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun, that takes me an entire year. I'll pause from the book as I show you my awesome shirt because it goes along with that very nicely. So the rotation of the earth really makes my day. The book just said that it's, it likes to spin, the earth spins, and it takes a whole day to go around once. That's called the rotation of the earth. And it makes my day. Because it literally makes a day to go around once. Anyways, back to the story. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby, but who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, very cranky. Then I started to cool off and things got wet, really wet. It rained for thousands of years. I'm not kidding, thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Then Pangaea split into seven separate continents. Things are always changing. I know you know the names of the seven continents, a list of them from biggest to small. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally, Australia. Okay. As I got older, stuff began to grow to life. Okay. Almost half of my life, you probably wouldn't even recognize me, though I've always been around. And then, two billion four hundred. 400 million years ago, air. If anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. Then, whoosh, way over here on the timeline of Earth, 470 million years ago, plants that can now live on land. Then the yellow dotted line, 400 million years ago, and then came bugs. Bzzz. Along our orange dotted line, 240 million years ago, my first dinosaur. 210 million years ago, yay for mammals, they're fuzzy and warm. 150 million years ago, birds. Did you know that they are relatives of dinosaurs? 130 million years ago, flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. It's not bragging if it's true. 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens. You humans have big brains and walk on two feet. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived 
they lived with me for 175 million years until <gasps> asteroid. It's not always easy being Earth. It's volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. I have the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly just eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes humans forget to share and play nice and clean up after themselves. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things. We love you, Earth. Hope you learned a little bit about the Earth. This is a little um, information from the author and fellow Earthling, Stacey McAnulty. She says, Dear alien visitors, thank you for reading this book. I'm a bit of an expert on the subject of Earth because I've lived here my whole life. I think Earth is the greatest planet in the solar system, and not just because she's the only one with a breathable atmosphere, I do like air, but we also have ice cream and books, which are some of my favorite things. Perhaps you'd like to learn even more about Earth. Perhaps you're considering making Earth your second home so you can visit during your summer vacations. Here are some additional fun facts about our great planet. Enjoy. P.S. I've made every attempt to bring you an accurate, brief, and entertaining history of planet Earth. However, scientists are making new discoveries all the time, and they sometimes make mistakes. I do too. Earth has many secrets, and I hope we can continue learning about her awesome past. So a little bit about continents. Continents are huge chunks of land, sometimes separated by water. Today we have seven. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America. Some nations and scientists consider Europe and Asia as one continent called Eurasia. Earth wasn't always made up of the Magnificent Seven. Some early continents include Ur, Kenorland, Nuna, Rodinia, and Pangaea, which was one huge continent that covered a third of the Earth and eventually broke apart to form today's continents. Not all ge geologists agree on the formation and timing of these continents. It would have been easier if there were cameras millions of years ago, but the scientists do agree that Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that are still, mer that are still moving. The North American plate and the Eurasian plate are moving apart at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge on the ocean floor at a speed of about one inch per year. <laughs> if you came back to Earth, in a million years, Earth might look quite different. Now the location of the Earth. Earth resides in the Milky Way, along with billions of other planets and suns, at least 100 billion suns. Our solar system has only one sun, eight planets, five dwarf planets, and about 150 moons. Earth is approximately 93 million miles from the sun, but this varies slightly depending on the time of the year. The planets in order from the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Some other stuff about life. Lucky for me, my fellow humans, and all of the other animals and plants, Earth is a great hostess. She provides air, water, food, and shelter. However, every so often she goes through changes that make life difficult impossible even. There have been five major extinctions. The Ordovician Silurian extinction, which happened 440 million years ago. This had a major impact on marine life. It was probably caused by a severe ice age. Then there was the late Devonian extinction 360 million years ago. About 75% of all species disappeared. Then there's the Permian Permian extinction 250 million years ago. This has been named the Great Dying because more than 90% of Earth's species were destroyed. Then the Triassic Jurassic extinction 200 million years ago. There's no clear cause for this extinction. 
no clear cause for this extinction, but it managed to wipe out about 76% of life on Earth. The Cretaceous Tertiary extinction, probably said that wrong, this was 66 million years ago, is bye-bye dinosaurs. Theories, theories, meaning it's not proven, but these are ideas. So theories suggest a deadly combination of volcanic activity, climate change, and an asteroid impact on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. So, lots of extin extinctions over time, which is why you don't see T-Rex walking around. So, hope you enjoyed the little story about Earth and got to learn a little bit more about it.